Let's delve deeper into lesson number 31. Revelation 19, 7 says, the marriage of the Lamb has come. You, you did receive your invitation to the party, didn't you? You know, weddings are viewed as a joyous celebration of the commitment to a new beginning. Now, the scripture portrays Jesus as the bridegroom, and this symbolizes his intimate relationship that he has with the church, his followers. Now, the church, all who have bent their knee to Jesus and have become mighty warriors for the kingdom, are depicted as Jesus' bride. As such, the idea of the groom and the bride symbolizes a spiritual union between Jesus and every believer. Now, when you add ancient Israel's prophets into our search for understanding, we see that the metaphor of marriage describes the relationship that God shares with his people. Now, a wedding is a celebration of a new beginning, a new beginning for all those who have been made new in Christ. Anyone who's bent the knee of the Lordship of Christ has been made a new creation. The past is gone, the new comes into being, and a new way of living, connected and alive to God, begins. Now, the disciple of Jesus, having been made alive in Christ, still lives in Babylon with the beast and the false prophet, creating <laughs> lot-like difficulties for him or her. Lot is in the guy in the Old Testament living in Sodom and Gomorrah. Temptation continues. The world, and, and if you would so allow, that includes the physical ailments or physical health. It's still, It's still on the path of what, the Apostle Paul described as a groaning uh, as it awaits the wedding celebration. Travail means pain and laborious effort to get the job done. Well, when the wedding comes, all those obstacles to living life to the full are removed. The new beginning begins. And that's a party that you want to be a part of.